everyone. So the Clippers are in a very interesting spot, right? They're not having the best season. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George continue to not be able to stay healthy. Uh, John Wall was supposed to be the big signing, the guy that was supposed to come in. He hasn't been very good for them. Uh, Reggie Jackson, he's a guy that just, he's better as a two guard, a scoring guard than he is as an actual point guard. They just don't have that piece to really kind of put it all together. And that's a real problem for the Clippers. And there's a ton of reports and just rumors that, you know, the Clippers might end up blowing it up when all is said and done. That the Clippers may actually, at the end of the season, if they have another disappointing season, might just say, time to trade Kawhi Leonard, try to trade uh, Paul George. This team is absolutely underachieved in every possible way. Uh, And a lot of it is due to injuries and not really having that glue piece that can kind of put everything together. You need a very specific point guard. You need a veteran savvy point guard. You need somebody that, you know, is is more of a pass first point guard and a guy that can just kind of put guys in spots rather than having Paul George be your be your primary uh, facilitator. The guy that's kind of, you know, leading the team in assists. Like that's not what he's supposed to be doing. I mean, he's capable of it and like yeah, if he gets you 5, 6, 7, 8 assists, like that's great, but that's not what you want to rely on. You want a point guard that can actually play the point guard position and keep everything in order so there are of course now reports that the Clippers are in the department of trying to find some type of point guard and the rumors are that Mike Conley is that point guard now from a Utah Jazz perspective it makes a lot of sense right they don't really need Mike Conley they're not they don't really have a ton of use for Mike Conley if they could get some assets for Mike Conley that would be great uh you know they have Jordan Clarkson uh Colin Sexton right those are the guys that they would rather have in the spotlight they're a young team that has a lot of promise, right? They're still trying to fight for a playoff spot. They're only, you know, two games out of fit, out of the fifth seed and one game back of the Clippers uh, for the eighth seed. Uh, so, or for the sixth seed, I'm sorry. And so, you know, you have this these two teams that are kind of in the same area, but they're, they want different things. Like Utah doesn't expect to win anything this year. Like if they can make the playoffs and, you know, maybe shock somebody, like that'd be great. But I don't think anyone, not even Utah, believes like, oh, we're winning the championship this year. Uh, so Mike Conley could be a piece that is kind of the odd man out and try to go get uh, some assets for him, right? There were a lot of talks about the Lakers trying to acquire Mike Conley and tons of rumors about the Utah Jazz and the Lakers, you know, back when the Boyan deal, right? Like getting Mike Conley, Boyan Bogdanovich, maybe a Jordan Clarkson or a Malik Beasley, something like that. Those ended up falling through. The the Clippers come in and maybe they could take their hand at trying to get a Mike Conley. I do think Mike Conley would be a much better fit. He's a good three-point shooter. He's still got that dog in him. Uh, He's a guy that can play some solid defense for this team and kind of be just the glue guy that they need. A veteran savvy type of point guard that has been there that understands uh, you know, what it takes, what he needs to do, that is willing to play whatever role is asked of him. Uh, and I think that he could be the guy that kind of comes in and, and allows the, the the pieces to kind of fall in order, right? Now you, you don't have to give Paul George as much playmaking, right? Now he can just kind of focus on playing defense and, and scoring when he does play. Um, I don't, I still don't just, personally, I just don't buy the Clippers, if I'm being honest. I just don't. Uh, even I think Mike Conley helps tremendously. I really do. I think that would be a very underrated signing. Um, I also think the Clippers need a big man, but that's also why you've seen lots of talks about, you know, Miles Turner. Uh, I think, you know, even if you went and got like a Yaka Pirtle or something, I think that that would be a good move for the Clippers as well because they definitely need size down low, but they really do need a point guard because the point guards that they have on their team right now are not point guards that are going to help this team especially come playoff time, right? Like, again, Reggie is is better as a two-guard scoring guard uh, than he is the, the playmaking guard that you need. Uh, same thing with, with uh, John Wall. Like, John Wall has not been very good. He's had moments. He's had games. But for the most part, he's been kind of underwhelming and, and a bit of a disappointment. And so y- you got to find something that can kind of be that piece. Like, if you could have John Wall off the bench as, like, you know, that six-man just sort of explosive guard, then that, I think, would be much more beneficial than... You know, having to have him start or Reggie Jackson. And Reggie Jackson's just kind of been the better out of the two, so you need him. But it's just, again, it's like you don't really need him to be a scoring guard, you know, especially when everyone's healthy and playing. It's great to have him when Paul George and Kawhi Leonard aren't playing, but when they are playing, it's just kind of clunky. It's kind of awkward. And like when you watch the Clippers play, like they're not, they haven't been very good. 
right? I mean, they've they. I mean, at one point they lost what six straight games or something like that. Like they've been struggling. Like they have not been a very good team um, as of late, and they just they can't seem to figure it out. They can't seem to put it together, even when Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are there. Like they're losing games even with those two, and that was the thing that like kind of kept them around for the last few years, right? Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, they would miss games, but the team was good enough to kind of weather the storm. And then, But, like, when Paul George and Kawhi Leonard actually did play, you won, like, 90% of those games. Well, now you're not. And they're losing in just terrible fashion. I mean, they're getting, they're getting spanked. And it just looks like this Clippers team is just not, they just don't have it. And I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. Because, I mean, if you look at the Clippers roster, on paper, they might be the best, deepest team in the league, hands down. I mean, they have a plethora of wings. They have scoring. They have playmaking. They have, I mean, they have everything on paper, right? The only thing that they don't really have is, like I said, size down low. But you look at that roster and you're like, man, that roster is insane, right? But they just they, they just can't seem to put it together. And it's almost like they have too many, too many of the same pieces and none of them really fit, right? You're trying to put together a puzzle, but you have all of these these same pieces instead of the completed pieces to the puzzle. And I think that that's what the Clippers ultimately need to do. So if you could go get a guy like Mike Conley and have him, uh, you know, be a, be a solid piece, be a solid contributor, come in and be that glue guy, be that facilitator, be that playmaker for this team, I really think that that would just put the Clippers in such a better position. Mike Conley, again, he's a guy that's been there. He's been to a Western Conference Finals. He knows what it takes to to be there. He can play defense. He can shoot, you know, 40% clip. Like, so he provides shooting. He provides floor spacing. So he's always a threat. Even when he gives the ball up to a, a Paul George or Kawhi Leonard, he can move away and do what he needs to. He can guard other point guard positions or other guard positions. He's a, he's a savvy vet that would fit what the Clippers need right now. So I really do think if the Clippers could get a Mike Conley, that would just be huge for that team. And I really think that that would kind of, again, just kind of put everything back in order. Put everything, put all the pieces where they need to be uh, rather than, I just think you have a lot of guys that are trying to play roles in various ways that they're not really designed to be playing, right? Like Paul George, yes, he can do some playmaking. He's great. You know, he could get you 35 and five, but you, you like they can't be your only type of playmaking, you know, and it's just you see it, and it's a lot of ISO, it's a lot of stagnation, it's a lot of like just almost like guys on top of each other, and it's just you got a lot of like the same position and same uh type of players. And if you can start moving off some of these guys to go get other pieces that make more sense, because especially Wayne Depp, they have a ton of that, right? And a lot of teams really need that. A lot of teams really want that. So if you can find a need that you have and in return trade a guy that they need, you know, like if you could trade a Covington and get back like a Mike Conley or something, like that would be perfect, right? And and he could be a guy that really kind of rounds everything out. So if you can kind of unload the things that you have just too much of to get something that you really do need, I still think if they get Mike Conley, I still believe that they need to go get a center. Uh, even if they're just bringing in like a DeMarcus Cousins or something, right? They, I, they need size, especially come playoff time. I don't think they need it as bad right now. Um, but come playoff time, they're really going to need size, especially when you're going up against teams like, you know, the Nuggets or the Pelicans or, you know, like teams like that. Like you need size. You need a big, solid, you know, just defensive big uh to, to add to this team. I mean, Zoo, relying on Zoo to just play 50 minutes a game is not really going to work out. Uh, and yeah, and then going small, I mean, they get killed so many times going small. So I don't know. I think that this is definitely a step in the right direction. I think this would be a huge move for the Clippers, but they definitely need more. Uh, but what are your thoughts and opinions? Uh, do you like the move of the Clippers going and getting Mike Conley? Do you think like, yeah, that's a solid move. Get that veteran savvy point guard that kind of, you know, can kind of facilitate and be a little bit of everything. Uh, is there somebody else that comes to mind that you think that, oh, no, I'd rather the Clippers go get this? Again, the, the thing is, like, like Jordan Clarkson, I'm sure, like, that's a name that, oh, if you're going to go trade for a point guard, trade for Jordan Clarkson. I don't think that that's the answer, right? Like, because Jordan Clarkson is closer to, to Red Jackson than he is to Mike Conley, right? Like, they need a facilitating point guard. They need a point guard that doesn't care about scoring and if, if it will just give you a 10 assists a game. And that's Mike Conley. Mike Conley would be willing to 
Like, he doesn't care if he puts up 30. He doesn't care if he scores. Like, he's a guy that come in and play defense, be a solid piece, facilitate, help guys, put guys in position to succeed. Like, that's what they need. They need guys like that. And I just think Mike Conley kind of fits that bill and and would be really nice uh, addition for the Clippers. But do you feel the same way? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? However you feel, I'd love to hear them. So let me know.